Hey everyone, welcome to our Coach Sneak Peek. You're in for a special treat today because all of us that are sharing our stories today are coming off of a super inspiring uh, regional meeting yesterday. So I know we're all extra pumped up and excited. Um, but anyways, welcome to the group. My name is Caitlin Lesk. I want to get started by telling you my story and then why you don't need to be a fitness or nutrition expert to be an amazing coach. And I'm actually going to share some stories from our meeting yesterday to um, help, help you see why that's the case. So first of all, I've been a coach for about six and a half years and a full-time coach for about five years. So when I got started coaching, I started as a customer first. I fell in love with the programs. I had been going to a gym for a long time, but was just sort of losing motivation at the gym and just kind of doing the same things every time I would go. So I didn't really feel like I was challenging my body at all. And I was also traveling a lot for work at the time. I was traveling internationally. So it was hard for me to be able to go to my gym consistently. Some of the hotels I was staying at in Europe were super small town hotels that didn't even have gyms. I just needed something that I could do from wherever, whenever, and I fell in love with the format of being able to connect with other people doing these programs on Facebook in our little private groups that we have where we all get to encourage each other. And that for me was such a key thing when I was traveling a lot and I was just away from all the people I cared about and to be able to connect with other inspiring, motivated, awesome people that we were all just trying to improve together was, was just lifeblood for me at the time. Hi, Alicia, I see you just jumped on. Um, and so anyways, it, it was just something that I fell in love with the format. I canceled my membership at my gym and I was so excited to have programs that I could do at home or when I was traveling or whatever time was best for my schedule and still get the social support that I used to get at my old gym because now I had people I could message on Facebook or talk to in our group at any time, day or night. So it didn't matter if I was traveling and working out at what would be, I don't know, 3 a.m. East Coast time. I could still post in there and know the next morning I was going to get encouragement and responses. And so I just loved it. So at the time, my coach had asked me if I had ever be considered being a coach. And right away, I jumped at the idea. I said, I love this. I want to be able to help other people in the same way that I've been helped. But my biggest fear at the time was, don't I need to be some sort of fitness or nutrition expert? And the answer was no, and I'll get back to that. Um, but anyways, right around that time, I started coaching. I found out that the startup company I worked for might have a limited time frame left. So the short version is that I really just took it as a sign and poured my heart and soul into my coaching business in the evenings, on my lunch break, and any time I just had that spare it can really fit into those pockets of five and 10 minutes that you don't even realize you have. And I built my business over about a year and a half and then my startup company closed in May of 2014 and that's when I became a coach full time. So I've been doing that for almost, I'm coming up on five years now as a full time coach. I can't even believe it. I feel like I get to pinch myself every day that this is my life. I love the flexibility of it. I love the freedoms of it. And more importantly, I love that I'm getting to do fulfilling work. I feel like I get to help people even in just some small way every single day, which to me is like a dream. And then it also keeps me accountable to my health and fitness goals. So back to the fact that you don't need to be an expert. So I never wanted to write meal plans, I didn't want to be a personal trainer. I, I like to be healthy, <laughs> but my passion isn't in the design and creation of that. My passion is in encouraging others and just sharing tips, <coughs> excuse me, of things that worked for me with others. So when the beach body coaching came along, it was just a dream come true because all of the experts are the people that design the nutrition and fitness programs that we get to deliver to customers. Meaning if somebody comes to me and they want to lose weight, all I'm really asking about is the type of workouts they like, 
if there's if there's anything with their nutrition they're trying to work on and then I give recommendations based on things that have helped me and things that have helped my clients so I can point them to a certain beach body workout program that might be good for their lifestyle and the type of workouts they like or their goals they're trying to reach so maybe some people want a strength training program versus a cardio program and then I try to find out you know how much time they have in a day to work out and, and then I can recommend something based on that and then the meal plans come with the fitness programs. And if somebody's not interested in doing a workout program, there's still some go-to nutrition programs I have that I can recommend to them. So it was just such a relief to not have to be an expert or know every little thing about all the latest nutrition science or exercise science because we all have experts behind the scenes that are doing that work for us. So all we're really doing as coaches is taking people along by the hand and saying, I did this, you can do this too. I know tons of people that are moms, parents, working full time, have, are in grad school, have all these busy confining things that make it really difficult to work out or eat right, but they find a way to do it and we can transfer that same knowledge to anybody that wants to get started and help them build those healthy habits over time as well. So yesterday at our, at our regional meeting, some of the stories that were shared, all of the, the biggest weight loss transformations were all from clients and coaches that don't have a background in this, aren't doing any kind of crazy bodybuilding shows, aren't professional athletes, aren't trainers, are just normal people like you and I who knew they needed to make a difference in their health for themselves, for their families, and just put the work in and, and stuck to the programs and then helped motivate other people to do the same. So one of my favorite uh, transformations we saw yesterday was somebody who lost over 100 pounds, then became a coach, then helped her mom lose over 100 pounds. And it was the most inspiring story. The mom was crying as she was talking about it and just how grateful she was that her daughter had saved her life and had, now she gets to be around to see her grandchildren grow up. And those kind of things are stories that come from a normal person that just decided to draw a line in the sand and make a change in their life and then help others do the same. So we do not need to be experts. You do not need to know everything about fitness or nutrition. You just have to have a heart for wanting to help others and care about others. And that's it. Just encourage people along the way. So that's why I love it so much. That's why it's been such a joy for the six years I've been a coach. And I know you guys are going to love hearing from Alicia and Karen on their stories too about how they got started. So if you guys have any questions about my specific story, comment below or message me. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys, Alicia and Karen later today. So I hope you all have a great day and a great week.